Boom! What's up guys? Byron Rogers, Executive Protection. Training day, success package, Executive Protection lifestyle, founder, all that fun stuff. I want to uh, talk a little bit about another thing that I uh, noticed with Elijah Shaw's book, doing the EP thing, hanging out here in the field uh, at the FBO. And um, he talks about, you know, different agents doing different things in the book. He talks about how he doesn't show weapons, uh, how it serves his client demographic. And he talks about different, really kind of soft skill centric ways to approach building your brand. Great content in that book, Celebrity Protection and Touring. You better get it. And the audiobook's fire. Ain't no reason you ain't listening to it on your drive to and from work to work. These clients we're talking about. My two cents on the thing is, look, you, especially when you're starting out, you want to make sure your brand is as androgynous as possible, as, as not so much ambiguous because you want to stand for something, right? That's going to attract certain clients. But you also want to make sure that you... Um, you know, you keep it so that it's it's corporate friendly, that it will fit any brand possible. It's one of the reasons I chose Bravo Research Group for my company because it's like, you know, it's not something that's aggressive. It's like you see Bravo Research Group come through on an invoice and it's like, hey, you know, what do these guys do? You know, what it, it no matter where the client is within the spectrum of uh, wanting security to be high or low visibility, it's palatable, right? But then, you know, if you do have one of those harder names, that's like, you know, this is what we do, security, you know, and it's a more aggressive name, that's going to appeal to a certain client demographic. You got some guys that just, you know, uh, they show themselves with their clients. Some people in the industry frown on it. You know, I have frowned on it for years, just like the bodyguard video I made. You guys go back and check out bodyguard versus executive protection uh, video I made a few minutes ago, uh, a dropped a few days ago. Some guys frown on it. I did frown on it for a long time, but you got to think that does give you some social proof, that does give you some social equity, that does also attract certain types of clients. So you got to tailor your approach to the clientele, the clientele that you're trying to make contact with. I'm heavy into hard skills, soft skills, heavy into combatives. You're not going to see anything on, on myself and within my personal brands when you do research me that isn't uh, combat skill centric, you know? So what does that mean? I attract a certain type of client. I attract a certain demographic. Uh, I stand for certain things that help me to align with my client's values before we even meet the conversation. Because when they do their deep dive, they're like, this is the type of individual that I'm bringing on. You know what I'm saying? So you've just got to consider your field. When you're beginning, it's probably best that you start off with something that's very, very, I hate to say it, uh, politically correct and very, very androgynous and, and, and gives you a lot of uh, leeway within the spectrum of people and things that can be attracted to you, you know, broad left, right, lateral limits. But as you get deeper, deeper into your career and you start to niche down on this is what really makes me tick, this is what I love, these are the people I want to serve, you can really start to tailor your approach uh, to fit more of the clientele that you're going after. So. I would say at this point in my career that there's no right or wrong way necessarily to do it as long as you're maintaining operational security, OPSEC, not showing tail numbers, not showing license plates and things like that. Um, I think you're good. But up until, you know, up until uh, you do do something that um, does expose your clients or their way of life or things like that, I think you really just have to decide who you're marketing to and how you want to do it. This is Byron Rogers founder of Executive Protection Lifestyle Podcast and the League of Executive Protection Specialists. Let's train together uh, inside of the training day and, and you can check all that stuff out at the links below and uh, go get Elijah Shaw's book, uh, Celebrity Touring. It's an amazing book, man, and uh, it'll put you on game. See you all in the next piece of content. Out. Do you know what happens when a AAA rated Executive Protection agent loses a client? I was up here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Now I'm down here. The dead guy's up here. Sure.